Two developments now on the local response to the Ebola outbreak. Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee giving his take on several states' decisions to quarantine certain travelers from West Africa. Now, his remarks put him at odds with New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who's going to pay a visit to the Ocean State today to campaign for Republican gubernatorial candidate Alan Fung. Iowa News reporter Brian Yukono has those details live this morning with the Mobile Newsroom. Well, good morning, Governor Christie, certainly known for being outspoken, and that is the case as this ongoing debate continues about quarantining people returning to the U.S. from West Africa. Just yesterday morning, we told you about this nurse being kept in quarantine against her will in New Jersey after she returned from West Africa, even though she tested negative for Ebola. Well, this morning, we can tell you that nurse, Casey Hickox, headed back to home in northern Maine, where she has agreed to stay in home quarantine. But there is this broad question, however, right now about who really has authority over quarantine guidelines in each state. Governor Christie explains it's the job of elected officials to protect people. Governor Chafee tells Eyewitness News intentions are good, but there does have to be a balance. If that inconvenienced her for a period of time, that's what we need to do to protect the public. That's what we will continue to do. We need these health care workers to go there. If we don't contain it there, then we're really in trouble. So I think the issue of quarantines has to be based on good science. Now, while the Centers for Disease Control has issued new general guidelines for dealing with patients at various risk levels, I did want you to see this statement from the CDC. It says on its website this morning, CDC recognizes that state and local jurisdictions may make decisions about isolation, other public health orders, and active monitoring that impose a greater level of restriction than what is recommended by federal guidance. And to that end, we are hearing from the White House now that says the Constitution prevents President Obama from forcing all states to follow a single rule when it comes to isolation or quarantine. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian DeCono, Eyewitness News.